So in today's video, we're going to learn how to do long division without remainders. Long division is basically just a way to do division that allows us to divide some bigger numbers um, without using a calculator. So there's a couple steps to remember, um, and they're written at the top of the video here um, when we're doing long division. And step one is divide, step two is multiply, step three is subtract, step four is bring down, and then step five is repeat. So let's try out number one. We have 835 divided by 5. So 835 is the number being divided or the dividend. So that's going to go under our division bar. And number 5 is the number we're dividing by or the divisor. So that's going to go on the outside. So we write that like this. So we write our division bar and we put 835 under the division bar and 5 on the outside. So now let's go to step one, which is divide. So we ask ourselves, how many whole groups of five go into eight? And that would be one. So now our next step is multiply. So we multiply one times five. So one times five is five, and we write that underneath the eight. Our next step is subtract. So we subtract five from eight. So eight minus five is three. And then our next step is bring down. So now we have to bring down the 3 in 835. We should bring that down, write it right here. And now we have 33. And our last step is repeat. So now we have to repeat that whole process. So we ask ourselves how many whole groups of 5 go into 33. Well, 5 times 6 is 30, and 5 times 7 is 35. So we can't quite fit 7, so it's going to be 6. So we write the 6 on top of the 3 over here. Then our next step is multiply. So 6 times 5 is 30. Our next step is subtract. So we subtract 30 from 33, which leaves us with 3. And then our last step is bring down. So we bring down the 5, put it down here, 5, and then we repeat. So now we ask how many whole groups of 5 go into 35? And that would be 7. So you write the 7 up here. 7 times 5 is 35. Subtract. 35 times minus 35 is 0. And now we've gone all the way over to the 1's place in our dividend. So that means that we have nowhere else to go and we're done. And we're left with 0. So this divides perfectly without a remainder. So our answer to 835 divided by 5 is 167. Let's try number 2. We have 360 divided by 6. So 360 is our dividend, it goes under the bar, and 6 is our divisor, the number we're dividing by, so it goes outside the bar. So let's rewrite that as a long division problem. So we have our division bar, put 360 under the bar, and 6 outside the bar. So now let's start with step one, which is divide. So how many whole groups of six can go into three? We realize that zero whole groups of six can fit into three. So what do we do? So when this happens, we have to move over one digit to the right. So now instead of just using the three, we have to use the three and the six. So how many whole groups of six go into 36? And that's going to be six. But since we used the 3 and the 6, we have to write the 6 over the 6 and not the 3. So 6 times 6, our next step is multiply. 6 times 6 is 36. Step 3 is subtract. So 36 minus 36 is 0. So next step is bring down. We bring our 0 down. So we have 0 again. Now how many whole groups of 6 go into 0? That's going to be 0, but since we don't have any other places to move over, we just have to write a 0 up here. And then our next step is multiply. 0 times 6 is 0. Now our next step is subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. We have nothing left to bring down because we moved all the way over to the right, all the way to the 1's column in our dividend. So we're done. So the answer to 360 divided by 6 is 60. So in those first two examples, 
both of our divisors were only one digit. But what happens if we have a two digit divisor? I have a couple examples like that here. So let's try number three. We have 240 divided by 20. So let's rewrite this as a long division problem. Write our division bar, put our dividend, which is 240, the number being divided, under the bar. And then our divisor, which is 20, the number we're dividing by, outside the bar. So now we go, go through our steps. Step one is divide. So we ask, how many whole groups of 20 fit into two? Well, that's going to be zero. It can't, none of them do. So we have to move over again, remember, to the next digit and use both. So we have 24. So we ask, how many whole groups of 20 go into 24? That's going to be one. But remember, since we used both digits, the one has to go on top of the four, not the two. So our next step is multiply. So we have one times 20. That equals 20. Our next step is subtract. 24 minus 20. That equals 4. Our last step is bring down. So we bring the 0 down. And then we repeat. So go back to step 1. So step 1 is divide. So how many whole groups of 20 go into 40? That's going to be 2. So we write 2. Next step is multiply. 2 times 20 is 40. Next step is subtract. 40 minus 40 is 0. And we've gone all the way over to the right, all the way to the ones column in our dividend, so we can't bring anything else down, so we're done. So the answer to 240 divided by 20 is 12. Let's try number four. We have 480 divided by 40. So let's set this up as a long division problem. Put our division bar, 480 goes under the bar because it's our dividend, 40 goes on the outside because it's our divisor. So now let's go through our steps. Step one, divide. How many whole groups of 40 go into four? You can't do that, so we have to move over to the eight. So we ask how many whole groups of 40 go into 48? That's gonna be one. We put our one over the eight. Now, next step is multiply. One times 40 is 40. Our next step is subtract. 48 minus 40 equals eight. Next step is bring down, bring our zero down, 80, and then we repeat. So now we divide again. How many whole groups of 40 go into 80? That's gonna be two, we write our two. Our next step is multiply, so two times 40 is 80, so we write 80. Step three is subtract, 80 minus 80 equals zero. And we have nothing left to bring down because we moved all the way over to the ones column in our dividend, so we're done. So the answer to 480 divided by 40 is 12. So for these last two examples, if you want, you can pause the video and try them on your own, and then follow along with me as I go through the solution. So number five, we have 492 divided by four. So let's rewrite this as a long division problem. Put our division bar. 492 goes under the bar, and 4 goes outside. I'm not going to read through each step this time, I'm just going to go through. But remember the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So we have 4, and we ask how many whole groups of 4 go into 4. Well, that's going to be 1, so we're the 1 up here. 1 times 4 equals 4. Now we subtract 4 minus 4. That equals zero. Bring down this nine. We have nine, so how many whole groups of four go into nine? That would be two. Two times four is eight. And we have nine minus eight equals one. Bring down our two. Twelve. How many whole groups of four go into twelve? That's gonna be three. Three times four is 12, subtract 12 minus 12 equals zero, and we've gone all the way to the right, all the way to the ones column in our dividend, so now we are done. So 492 divided by four equals 123. Let's try number six. We have 182 divided by 13. So let's rewrite this as a long division problem. 
we have 182 under the division bar and 13 outside. So let's start by saying how many whole groups of 13 go into 1. Well, we can't do that, so we have to move over and use the 8 as well. So how many whole groups of 13 go into 18? That's going to be 1, so we write our 1 on top of the 8, remember. Now 1 times 13 is 13. 18 minus 13 is 5. We bring down our 2. We have 52. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many whole groups of 13 go into 52? Now this is kind of tricky because, you know, most people don't know 13 multiplication tables off the top of their head. So what we can do is kind of pick some easy numbers to multi multiply by to get a better understanding. So a really easy number is 10. So 13 times 10 is 130. So that's way too big, so we know that it's not going to be that high. Maybe we can cut that in half and do 13 times 5, which would be 65. So that's still a little too big, but it's a lot closer. So 13 times 5 is 65. Maybe we can try 4. So 13 times 4 happens to be 52. So 4 whole groups of 13 go into 52. So we read our 4 over here. Then multiply 4 times 13. We know that is 52. So we have 52 down here. Subtract. 52 minus 52 equals 0. And since we've gone all the way over to the right in our dividend, we know we're done. So the answer to 182 divided by 13 is 14. Hopefully now you guys have a better understanding of how to do long division without remainders. Thanks for watching.